In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best competitive NVIDIA inspector settings and also the best profile and NVIDIA control settings on competitive. If you watch this video till the very end, this is how you're actually going to get the highest possible frames you can and the lowest input delay. This is what all the pros have done to their PC to make sure they get the highest frames at all times possible. And boys, if I can ask for one thing in return, if you can quickly leave a like down below, leave a subscribe as it will mean so much to me, as in my opinion, I bring you some of the best tweaks here. But Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. And also, by the way, if you don't have an NVIDIA card, I'm still showing you guys so many more graphic settings to make sure you get the highest frames. Make sure you follow along. Okay, so first of all, what everyone's waiting for, the actual NVIDIA settings. So what you wanna do is be on your desktop right here, right click onto it, go onto NVIDIA control panel. Now, for some of you, you may be thinking, this I don't have this on my PC, Jinshi. Why on earth is this? You may not have a NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't, then I'm sorry, you will have to miss this tweak. But if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're in luck. These tweaks are so so good not many people are telling you about this as well you have to pay for this normally right so what you want to do head over to 3d settings go on adjust image settings with preview now right here let the 3d application mode decide you obviously then want that one use the advanced 3d image settings you want to do this and then press take me there if you're thinking Jinchi, you have the quality on why do you have that obviously i had a, i don't have this one ticked so i'm choosing my own settings what i recommend you guys should do as well so click on to take me there and then once you're on here there are going to be so many settings most of them you're not going to be too sure what they are but make sure you follow along with these settings obviously boys i'm not going to talk for every single one that will literally take me ages it would be like a 40 minute video so literally just copy these settings right here pause the video if you have to these of course will make your quality a tiny tiny bit less but the performance you get out of this is so so high it's crazy literally you can turn all these on high then once you copy these settings it is genuinely such a drastic difference it's crazy make sure you copy every single one for how it is by the way and for some of them, if you're not sure about to do it or not, genuinely, in my opinion, just do it. These are the best settings by far to get the lowest ping. Once you have done these, although, now go on to change resolution. What you want to do, click on to PC 1920 by 1080. Refresh rate, you have to click the highest one. The highest one normally gives you the lowest delay as well. Some people have 144 hertz monitor, 240 hertz for me. So click onto 240 hertz. Once you're done with that, go on to adjust desktop size and precision. Now right here, there are gonna be four settings. Not many people know what each of these do. So basically, I'm gonna simplify it so, so much, by the way. I'm just gonna rank it in order from best to worst, which one you should pick. So the best one here, no scaling. Second best is full screen. Third best is aspect ratio. Fourth best, integrator scaling. Integrator scaling, you should use under no circumstance. That is such a bad one. Now, no scaling is the best one to use. You'll get the lowest delay with no scaling. Now, some of you, are going to be thinking Jinji why on earth are you on full screen then boys because my monitor does not support no scaling whenever I click on no scaling there's black bars on the sides of my screen and obviously I don't want that when I'm playing any games so I click onto full screen this is what I'm saying about it goes in order so for some people no scaling you have black bars full screen you have black bars so you have to play aspect ratio so literally try it out from the order I said no scaling is the best if not go on to full screen on many many monitors full screen is fine if not then go on to aspect ratio literally 100% of the time you'll find an aspect ratio Perform scaling on GPU or display 10 times better if you go to your GPU. There's reason your GPU is so so strong is because it needs to be strain on it. So once there's strain in your GPU, it will perform at the maximum ability. So you want the scaling on your GPU. Once you're done with that as well, resolution 1920 by 1080, unless you're playing stretch res, refresh rate at the highest as well. Override the scaling mode set by games. Make sure that's unticked, by the way, boys. Make sure that's unticked. Now, boys, this next up is a tweak for everyone. This is such a good tweak as well. Make sure you head over to the search bar, search edit power plan pops up literally straight away click on edit power plan right here don't click on any of these trust me i know you're going to be thinking click on never but don't do that yet go on to power options once you're on here you're going to for some of you you may see like one or two options so for most of you you'll be balanced and then power safer high performance most likely it'll be those three but what we're going to do for you guys is get you the ultimate performance by the way if you're thinking why not just give us chris titus ultimate power plan it's genuinely the exact same the ultimate power plan is exactly the same as the ultimate performance one now to get the ultimate performance one is head over to the search bar search cmd command prompt pops up go run as administrator it will take a second to load and then click on yes and here it is once you know it's an administrator it will say in the top left administrator command prompt i'm just saying it over and over again because if you're not an admin this will not work for you guys so what you want to do now is head over to the description of my video and there will be a discord link that discord link is to my server obviously i'm not trying to sell you anything i literally have nothing here just general reviews suggestions this and that announcements page that's the main one we're looking for right here power config by the way we've almost got 3,000 people in the discord make sure you join up 
So copy this line of code I have on the announcements page, by the way. Now close this, go back onto the CMG, control V, enter. Now, it literally comes up like this, ultimate performance. It's so, so simple to do. You don't have to do anything yourself. Just copy the code, put it in here. You know it's worked when it says ultimate performance. Once it's done that, we're gonna head over to the search bar again. Search, edit, edit power plan, go onto this, power options at the top. Now right here, ultimate performance will happen again. Obviously for me, I have so many ultimate performances, actually crazy. Once you know it's worked, it has to be ticked. If it's not ticked for you guys, go obviously tick it first, then go on to change plan settings, change advanced power settings, go on to here, and it needs to be on active. If ultimate performance is not active, you have to click it again. Make sure you do that, guys, by the way. And also, whilst I'm on my desktop, I know this is for your graphics, but boys, genuinely, if you want zero ping, you need to be getting on the Gear Up Booster. This will get you that zero ping. And also, I have a free trial in the description of my video, so why not download it and just give it a go for completely free? If you don't like it, which I don't know why you wouldn't, because so many comments of mine are saying how good Gear Up is, and in my Discord server, everyone's saying Gear Up gives me zero ping. Genuinely, just give it a Go. I'm not going to go too much into it, but this is such a gatekeeped app. I don't want you guys to not know about it. So give it a go. Free trial in the description of my video. Now, the next week I want you guys to do to get the maximum frames is head over to the search bar, search SYS, system configuration will pop up. Click onto system configuration, it'll take a second, and then general right here, startup selection. Most of you will have onto normal startup. So go on to selective startup, check, first check the first two right here, then original boot configuration. Do not check this one. Go on to boot as well, then timeout right here. You can pick between 0 and 5 seconds, depending on how good your PC is. If you have a NASA PC, click onto 0 seconds. If you have a very, very bad PC or a laptop, click onto 5 seconds. If you have an average PC just like me, click onto 3 seconds. And if you want the exact timeout, obviously you can't go above 5 seconds. Well, you can, but there's no point. Head over to my Discord, type in general, say, Jinchi, I have this GPU, I have the CPU, what timeout shall I use? Simple as that, and I'll let you know between 0 and 5, depending on how good your PC is. One other thing you need to do, go onto Advanced options number of processes this has to be ticked boys most of you don't have this ticked that means one of your processes is working some of you have this ticked and it's on one still one of your processes is working click on the maximum amount for me it's 16 for some of you 32 for some of you 12 so click on 16 obviously now your pc simply by this one tweak that not many people tell you about 16 times more processes than before 16 times faster than before simple as that click on to 16 click on ok click on apply right here remember if you're not sure about the timeout let me know in this the discord Discord channel the general chat as well click on ok and now boys that is the end of this video i hope you did enjoy restart your pc remember to do that go into fortnite see what your frames are now and it should be so much more i hope you did enjoy i'll see you guys further on this week and remember one last last thing boys please do leave a like on this video if you've watched this far and remember to subscribe as so many of you are not subscribed so let's get into it